Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to format dates in Zoho Flow. Let's get started. I already have this flow open, and what it is doing is when someone schedules a Calendly event, then is grabbing the dates from that event and converting it into different formats. We also get the today's date and format it. And finally, we put everything in a spreadsheet. Here in the center, we have these four different functions that are the ones that are going to be formatting the date. They are all different, so I'm going to show you guys all of them. All right, let's start with this first date and I'm going to click here and edit. And as I mentioned, this is a function. So the only input that is requiring in this case is the event start time. So that's the only thing that you have to put here, but this window is not showing the function itself. So I'm going to show you that as well. To find the functions, you have to go to logic and then here it says custom functions. And the one that I'm looking for is the Calendly date function. So if you click on this edit button, you're going to be able to see the function itself. And what this function is doing is first grabbing that date that I showed you before from Calendly. And this is the date format. And then it's converting it into this date format. So the first thing you have to do is map out the date format of the date you want to convert. In this case is the first one right here and then map out the format of the date that you want as a final result. And there's an article in the Soho Flow website where you can find how to do it. So let me show you the article right here. And these are the basic notations. So in the first column, you have all the letters. And then the second one is what they represent. And below we have some examples as well. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below. All right, let's go back to our flow. And we're going to close this window and I'm going to show you the second one. So this one is slightly different. Instead of adding the date format to the function itself, this function is creating them as variables. So you can type the format here instead of having to edit the function. This first field is the input, and this input is different than the one I just showed you before. Then we have to create a date input format, and here we're going to add the final format that we want for this function. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is today's date. And if I edit it, you're going to notice that there is no input. This function, the only thing that it's doing is returning today's date. So whenever it is executed, it's giving me back today's date. So let me show you the function itself. It's right here. And it is pretty straightforward. Current date is today. All these functions are written in Deluge, which is Zoho's coding language. All right, the last function I'm going to show you is this one. And it is formatting today's date into a different format. So when we edit it, we can see that the date start is today's date, is the one that I just generated. And then if we edit the function, we can see that this is really similar to the one that I showed you in the first place. First, we define the format of the data we want to convert, and then we define the final output. These last two functions could be done in only one function. So first you grab today's date, and then you format it to the desired output. But for my application, it was better to have them separated. All right. So when this workflow runs, it puts all the information in the spreadsheet. So let me show you the spreadsheet right here. And this one here is the first function. So we have date in, and this is what Calendly gives us. And this is an example. I already triggered this workflow before and it already created some entries. And here we have the date out or the date that comes from that function. And these are the examples. For the second function, we input this from Calendly. And as you can see, it's very different than the first function, but the output is the same than the first function. Then we have the today's date function. So every time it's executed, it's going to return today's date. And we didn't specify the time. That's why it says 000 for the time but the date is always correct. And then the last function is converting the format of the today's date. Here we have the input, and then this is how the output is gonna look like. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I have other videos about Soho products in this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.